Hey, this is Maginoni, and welcome to another edition of The Good, The Bad, and The Disappointing. Up first, we had a, a very big week, and Miss Marvel number six takes the top honors. Now, this was just, it was just such a fun book to read. It was just a pure, like, joy in the sense of just watching the chaos, and the chaos getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And what was great about it is it wasn't like, I mean, granted, it was pretty bad chaos, but it wasn't like it was earth shattering. The scrolls are coming down. It was in its own little unique way, uh, kind of like, I don't want to say cutesy, but it was in a sense that, yeah, things were to, bad things would have happened. But at the same time, it didn't look very dangerous. Um, also, there's like a really good moment at the very end with. Uh, Kamala and Iron Man and Miss Marvel. All of that was just really, really solid. Uh, the art was great also. And I, there's, there was not much more I can ask for. I mean, because basically, you know, Kamala here, she was you know supposed to go to... She's being pulled in a million different directions. She's got Avenger stuff. She's got school stuff. She's got homework. She's got uh, the... Uh, was the marriage party with her brother? And because her brother's getting married, and it was just so much that she gets a buddy of hers to make clones. The clones go crazy and out of control. There's so many clones, and eventually there's a giant dinosaur, and it's just insanity. Even Loki shows up. That's how crazy it was. This was overall a fantastic read. Great title. Highly, highly recommend people pick it up. You know, especially if you're looking for something that's fun um, and you know, not bogged down by lots of uh, melodrama. Great, great, great book. The Bad. Micronauts number one. There was no redeeming value whatsoever in this book. It it just was god awful. Now, here's the, here's the deal. Like I know who the Micronauts are. I mean, I know they're a toy line. You know, I've read the comics. Um, Japan still has Micronaut toys, even though I don't think they're called Micronauts in Japan. But um, Colin Bunn basically just throws, you know, throws us to the wolves, which is fair. You know, don't you, I don't think we need to hold, you know, I don't need my hand held in this type of situation. But in a way, part of me kind of makes me think that they're trying to make this into like a Guardians of the Galaxy type vibe without the humor part and they think you know a Croyer will be the big badass type but even then the Croyer he's he doesn't Groot has more personality than a Croyer let's put it that way um, the art is okay at times other times it's just oh, it's just bad um, and basically it's uh, the Micronaut key characters are thrown into a situation that's basically go over to this spaceship, retrieve bio um, equipment, and of course they're lied to, and things spiral out of control. And you have Baron Karzard, he's he's off at a war, and it's just, I don't know, There's to me it's just, uh, it just, I think it fails as a comic. Now... I mean, when I, while I was reading this book, there's a lot. There were a lot of panels, and the way the thing was colored, I was thinking, you know, what, this might actually make a better animated, you know, like show on TV. But this was just, I just couldn't, couldn't read it. I mean, I read it, but it was just painful to read from start to finish. Very, very bad. It was like, I guess you can say it's one of those types of books that. It never drew me in to want to read more, I guess. That's that's a good way of looking at it for me, at least. There was no incentive to draw me in as a reader. Because it ended very cliche-like. Oh, my goodness, are they going to live or die? Uh, who cares? They're dead. Move on. Let's move on to the next next book. They're dead. I don't need to read the next issue. That's where I think part of the, my problem is with it. Okay, and the disappointing is Doctor Strange, The Last Days of Magic. Okay, this is basically a big, thick book that has Sharknado in it. 
and it has all these different mages and they're all battling this invader and they all get like two three pages maybe four depending upon situation and the art as you can see is just horrible it is god awful it made me wish to read micronauts let's put it that way and basically this is all, all of this is filler for what's happening around the world during the regular Doctor Strange book. But none of this is interesting at all. It's just... Oh. It was just... I mean, this is a type of book for me that would make me want to drop Doctor Strange because it was just such a disappointment. And while I appreciate that they did this instead of having like six different issues of um, minis, like a six issue mini series or something to that effect. It was just, I, you know, these new characters, I couldn't get wrapped up in them, like, you know, get invested in them. And, you know, it's, there'd be times where I go, well, that's kind of cool, but then eh, their the story's done. And there's just nothing to keep me really motivated to want to continue reading it. It was a true disappointment and otherwise great story so far. But anyways, this is my good, bad, the disappointing. Let me know what your good, bad, disappointing is for the week. We'll have some more reviews. And we'll have uh, like, share more later. So until next time.